1999, a film was released that would change the world of teen movies forever. What's going on you guys? Welcome back to another video. Today's video brings me to Long Beach. I'm checking out the filming locations for the 1999 film American Pie. I'm starting the filming locations here in Long Beach. And right here is Jim's house. Jim played by Jason Biggs. The opening scene starts right here in this house. Jim's uh, apparently watching some illegal channels, according to his mother. Jim's mom and dad walked in on him and caught him, well, you know. In the movie, there's a scene where Jim is broadcasting Nadia live in his room and he runs from this house, this location in Long Beach, all the way to his friend Kevin's house. You can see Jim come through this door, go through this walkway, and run. Coming towards this way, Jim almost bumps into a male lady, so he kind of has to swerve out of the way, and he goes down that way. The only thing is that Kevin's house is actually in Pasadena, and it's probably like 30 miles from here. So in reality, Jim had to do some running to get there. American Pie was written by Adam Herz. It only took him three weeks to write the screenplay. The then 26 year old watched Porky's and Bachelor Party to, you know, study and get some pointers off of teen movies back in the day. And he studied them, trying to get the comedy out of these high school teen movies. And he tried to put that together in American Pie. And the name for the screenplay was, believe it or not, untitled teenage sex comedy that can be made for under 10 million that most readers will probably hate but i think you will love not lying that is the name for the screenplay brothers chris and paul white ended up directing the film but before they got them to sign they had to go through like 70 other people before they got the right directors so yeah that name kind of threw it off when the movie was being filmed it wasn't known as american pie it was called East Great Falls. But when people saw the test screenings of the movie, they said they loved everything about the movie except for the title. So they had to find another title. And this movie was originally rated NC-17, which means no one under 17 can watch the movie with or without a parent. But they did end up cutting down some scenes and they ended up getting a rated R rating which is way better than NC-17. I believe it was through that window where Jim is uh, going fourth oh. base with a apple pie, which was purchased from Costco, by the way. So when Jim's right there, you can actually see Jim's dad getting out of his car and coming up to the house and not, to, not expecting to see Jim doing what he's doing. Uh, Jim? Right there. Eugene Levy, who played Jim's dad, wanted to improvise his lines because he didn't like how the character was brought up. He didn't like how uh, he seemed more of a creepy guy. So he threatened to leave and not act as Jim's dad if he couldn't improvise his lines. So all the lines that were in the film were improvised by Eugene Levy. Bill Murray was considered for the role of Noah Levingston, but Eugene Levy was cast instead. We're here now at East Great Falls High. In reality, it's Millican High School here in Long Beach. After that embarrassing scene with Jim and his parents, the screen starts panning out right here, and the sign says Millican High, but in the film, they changed it to East Great Falls High, and you can see the camera panning this way and turning into the street. A lot of the film is based on writer Adam Herr's days at his high school, East Grand Rapids High in Michigan town in the movie was called East Great Falls and the real town was East Rapid Falls. The schools did share the same colors, blue and gold. Here's a shot of another scene in the movie. This scene, Oz is sitting right here waiting for Heather who is pulling up right here. Oz and Heather start walking right here and they stop right about right here. 
And this is where she tells him that she caught him making fun of her with his jock friends. The exterior, outdoor, and prom scenes were filmed here at Milliken. The interior scenes though, those were filmed at Polytech High School, which is also located in Long Beach. It's a few miles away. Right here in the city of Monrovia on Lime and Myrtle, about 30 miles away from the school in Long Beach is this location and they use this location for dog ears. Dog Ears was based on Yester Dog, which is located in Grand Rapids, Michigan. You can see the guys out in front talking, and this is where Jim gets that apple pie idea. Right here, everyone, right here. And that wall right there, there was a painting that said six blocks from downtown, and that was put in just for the movie. Yeah, those are the doors that the guys would've walked through. You know, it's funny, this place is always closed, shut down, nothing going on inside, but it is now a restaurant, which I will try out one day. Yeah, like I said, the uh, painting was right there on that wall, and you can see this, this building as well in the movie. Here is Stifler's house. So the actor who played Stifler, Sean William Scott, was only paid $8,000 to appear in the film. Sean William Scott was working at Home Depot at the time he auditioned for the movie. And American Pie was Sean William Scott's first feature role. That $8,000 was bumped up to $5 million by the time he appeared in American Reunion. John Chow was also in this film. You might remember him from Harold and Kumar. He was the oldest high schooler in the movie. Chow was 26 during the filming. There is a shot of the house the next morning after the party when the guys are waking up hung over and this is the house where they all make a pack together they make a pack try to get lucky before graduation Sean William Scott does say that he didn't want his mom to see the movie but she went to go see it with her church friends and he said that she likes to go into Best Buy and ask do they have American Pie and she tells them that she's Stifler's mom I wonder how stoked those workers were to know that the real Stifler's mom was talking to them. Stifler's mom in the movie though was played by Jennifer Coolidge and Paul Finch seems to fall in love with her. Remember what I said earlier that Kevin's house is close to Jim's because he can basically run there but in reality it is about 30 miles away. So Jim basically comes running down from this way and when he's running you can see this house in the background. He runs towards this way off to over there and that's where Kevin's house is. Jim would have been coming from that way and he would cross right here, go straight into Kevin's door where they are waiting for him and they are watching that live broadcast of Nadia. Which is wrong everybody, never broadcast anybody like that. A lot of other people got that broadcast link as well because Jim accidentally sent it to the entire school. And that is when Blink-182 made a cameo in this movie at the end of the film credits, they credit the wrong member. They credited Scott Raynor instead of Travis Barker who did make that cameo in the film. Scott Raynor was the original drummer in the band. After Jim talks with the guys inside, he takes off running back to his house, running down that way. And it does look like Jim does run down this way. And if you heard that noise earlier, Yes, there are peacocks in this area. Look at this one. Kevin's house from American Pie, everybody. All right, everybody, that is it for me here doing the filming locations for the 1999 film, American Pie. If you guys like this video, give me a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss an upload. I'll see you guys in the next video.